What up, dog? Welcome to In the Zone with Zo. Shout out to my new subscriber and everybody been liking and checking out my last video. I really appreciate it. But today, I'm going to talk about the Week 12 Thanksgiving games. The Detroit Lions, they went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Buffalo. Buffalo really should have lost that football game. But Jared Goff, at the end of the game, kept on making fucked up throws. But Detroit had that game won. Josh Allen played horrible. He was 24 of 42 with two touchdowns and one interception. Josh Allen been playing, he been playing fucking horrible this year. But the Lions had that game won. But the Lions do the Lions shit at the end of the game. With 32 seconds left, I believe, they left the damn Buffalo Bills march down the field and kick a game with the field goal. Well, before it end, they were looking to go in overtime with Buffalo. That was that was fucked up. But I'm gonna tell you this. I'm gonna tell y'all right now how to fix the Detroit Lions. Dan Campbell, he's a he okay coach. But that whole play calling at the end of the game, once again, it blew me. Detroit were playing scared. They didn't want to win that football game. They already go overtime. The Detroit Lions need to do. And fire Dan Campbell. Hire Sean Payton. And trade your first round pick to Baltimore for Lamar Jackson. That's what Detroit needs to do. Because Detroit not paying nobody on offense after Jared Goff contract up this year. So you need to trade your first round pick to Baltimore. But the Lions also have the round first round pick that more than likely would be a top eight draft pick. You need to hire Sean Payton. Get Lamar Jackson here with all them young players Detroit have on offense. And you will have a true Offense coordinator and a head coach. That's what Detroit need to do. Detroit need to get, get all that shit. Fuck Dan Campbell. Dan Campbell, he is not it. That's what Detroit needs to do. Detroit really want to win and fix their image. Go hire Sean Payton. What the fuck you got to lose at this point? Dan Campbell can't get you there. And do you trust the Detroit Lions to really draft a franchise quarterback? Fuck no. So go ahead and pay Lamar Jackson what he want to get paid. Give him about a five-year contract. Guarantee you whatever. It don't even matter at this point. Bring Lamar Jackson here with Sean Payton. And shit, Detroit will look fucking scary with a dog at offense. For real. But... I'm going to talk more about the Minnesota Vikings bounce back game against the New England Patriots. KOC. That's how you fucking game plan. Yeah, that's how you do that shit. The Minnesota Vikings came out with quick passes. They came out with trick plays and all that in the beginning of the game. They kept New England on their toes. Kirk Cousin. He played good. Besides that dumbass interception he threw, he got to stop that shit. Like, if you're going to throw an interception, at least throw the ball with one of your damn receivers that they, it could be a 50 50 ball, but yeah. The boy bought out against New England. I ain't even going to hold you up. Even though New England came in with, a, with like a top five defense, I believe. The office line played hella good. And Justin Jefferson broke 
the receiving yards for any receiver in three years. He had like nine catches for like 193, I think, and a touchdown. J.J. went crazy against New England. And I really thought Bill Belichick was going to take uh, the best player away from uh, Minnesota. But for some reason, they ain't had no answer for, Je for uh, Jefferson. But Kirk Cousin played good. He threw for 299. But, but the shit that had me confused was that uh, Mac Jones. Mac Jones went for, he was 28 of 39 with 382. But I will give Minnesota defense. They did hold up. But Minnesota do got a lot of key player injured on defense. So I, I ain't going to really, I ain't going to really grill them about that. Hopefully we get our D tackle back. And we get our, our other top cornerback off injury. Next week when they played on the New York Jets. Hopefully that defense will look better though. But damn, they had Mac Jones look like motherfucking Tom Brady back there throwing the ball the way he had thrown it. But Minnesota did play good. They had a, a big Alabama back win at home against New England on Thanksgiving Day. That was a good ass game. A good way to bounce fucking back. I don't give a fuck what happened last week. That wasn't shit. So hopefully Minnesota can win next week and wrap up the NSC North with a W. Then after that shit, you plan for, uh, you know, you still fighting for that number one C or that number two C or however it's going to go. But I like to see Minnesota try to get that number one C. At least they get that little bye week and they could, you know, fix that defense when that week they be up before the playoffs start. But. Minnesota played good. Dalvin Cook ran the ball decent. That was a good ass. That was a good ass game plan. I gotta give him good props on that one. But leave a comment, subscribe to the uh, video, I mean, subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave a comment. Now I'm about to go watch the Michigan beat the fuck out of Ohio State. Today I'm rocking with blue. Let's get it.